Hello and welcome to the Anglo Jazz podcast with me, your host, Owen. Guys, it um, obviously is, uh, well, when a Rangers legend speaks, we need to listen, don't we? You know, and we are so fortunate as a club to have had so many fantastic players play for us, you know, all throughout Rangers storied history there have been so many talented talented players and one such player is brian loudrop you know brian loudrop who was an absolutely amazing servant for the club but an absolutely superbly skilled player such a talented player that often had rangers fans off their seats with his absolutely amazing talent and the fact that he stuck it to celtic on a number of occasions always goes down well However, Brian Laudrup has today been talking about Fashion Sakala. Now, Fashion Sakala is someone who I think does divide Rangers fans and whether or not he is good enough to play for the club. His pace is certainly electrifying, but at times his first touch, his ability to find the net, and uh, perhaps his judgment at times is lacking. And, you know, you've only got to look at that miss um, in the Via Player League Cup final on Sunday just to see that for yourself. You know, you know from the Ryan Kent shot, they hit the post, how he misses that or doesn't at least square it to someone to create a chance is beyond me it was actually tougher to put it out for a goal kick uh than you know than than actually you know score a goal or cross it for someone and sakala managed to you know put it out for a goal kick um personally my personal opinion is sakala is not really good enough to play for rangers good enough to play for someone like dundee united or hearts or hibs or ross county or st mirren but certainly not i don't think a rangers starting class player you know he he has contributed yes goals and assists against some of the weaker teams but you know for me he just i don't think he's up to the job i really don't think he is a good enough player for rangers and he's one of the ones i would like to see moved on in the summer but that's just my own personal opinion now before the via player cup final fashion sakala came out with a few comments he called them the other mob which you know that's fine get that but then he came out and said that you know that, that and I'm not, look, we'd all love to say this. We all love to, you know, whatever, you know, believe this. You know, we are the better team. We're, you know, better than them up the road, blah, blah, blah. Which is all very well and good when you've won games against them, when you're winning league titles against them, when you're winning cup competitions over them. But then when you go on to lose games against them, it makes you look pretty stupid, which is what has happened to Fashion Sakala. He now looks pretty daft and looks like he's got a bit of egg on his face. And Brian Laudrup has been having his say today on what Fashion Sakala had to say. And this is what Brian Laudrup said about Sakala's comments. He said that, he said, I think another lesson was the was the one painfully learned by Sakala. He spoke a lot before the game saying Rangers were better than Celtic, but didn't back it up at all. Sakala's performance was poor. He had a huge chance to score in the second half and didn't take it. Now, what I would say to Fashion Sakala is this, listen, you need to listen to this. This man, Brian Lauder, is a Rangers legend. This man is a superb footballer. He's, he's one of the finest footballers ever to play the game, in my opinion. He, you know, a European superstar. You know, you, you've just got to look at uh, this lad's career and, you know, what Laudrup achieved in his career to know that. And Fashion Sakala, when people like Brian Laudrup talk, you listen to them. You really do listen to what they've got to say. You know, Brian Laudrup in his career played for Bayern Munich. He played for Milan. He played obviously for Rangers, for Ajax. He played international football for Denmark, over 82 caps. During his time with Rangers, 116 appearances, 33 goals. You know, you look at this lad's, you look at his honours. Uh, he won the Super Cup in Germany. He won Serie A with AC Milan. He won three Scottish Premier League titles, one Scottish Cup, one Scottish, Scottish League Cup. He won the UEFA Super Cup with Chelsea. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a, had a storied career and he's writing what he's got to say. You know, he's, you know, he's right. He didn't back it up at all. When you make comments like Sakala makes, you've got to back them up. You've got to go out there and you've got to back them up. And he didn't do that. And perhaps Sakala hasn't got the skill or the ability to actually back up what he says out there. His mouth says one thing, but his skill says another. You know, and I think Laudrup's right. Sakala's performance was poor. And that huge chance he had, you know, he didn't take it. And it was awful. It was genuinely awful that you know what 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 uh, Sakala did. Laudra went on to say this: "I love his pace. It's such a great asset. But his technique is unreliable at times. In the end, there wasn't much behind his talk. He fell flat on his face, unfortunately, and so did Rangers. His words look silly today. Listen, everyone around the football is all part of an entertainment industry, really, and it's no crime for a football to make headlines." with some good quotes. But in the future, I think Beale will definitely want him to do his talking on the pitch. You know, so if you look at what, what Loudup is actually saying here, he's right. You know, 
So Carlos technique does let him down. He is very, very fast, don't get me wrong, but he, you know, his skill level is not up to it, I don't think. Um, you know, he, he didn't, he, in the end, there wasn't much behind his talk, you know, in terms of that fact, he's all mouth and no trousers, as, as, which is an old fashioned saying, which I think applies to fashion Sakala. He fell flat on his face, he did. He looks silly, he does. And I think he made Rangers look silly and that that's unforgivable. Uh, by Fashion Sakala. So, you know, I think this calling out of Fashion Sakala by Brown Loudup needs to be listened to. And I think Loudup's right in what he says, you know, condemning Sakala for, for these silly comments. And I think he's right that Michael Beale has to sit Fashion Sakala down and tell him, you know, the rest of this season he keeps his gob shut and he, and he you know, he goes out there and he performs on the pitch um, and he performs to a better level than he certainly did in the Viaplayer Cup final. And when we come against Celtic again in the remaining all firm, all firm games, it's up for thought to Sakala if he plays for him to go and prove that he is worth a place in this Rangers team, because to me at the moment, he is certainly not worth a place in this team. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're a Celtic fan, go and comment on your own stuff. You're so boring. <laughs> anyway, hit that sub, ring that notification bell, guys. It really does help if you hit the like as well with the algorithm and everything like that. But guys, trying to build this podcast up, we're trying to build the Anglo Jazz podcast, show that Rangers are a club that goes across all borders and has a huge European following. So please hit that sub, ring that notification bell, and get behind the Anglo Jazz podcast. We are the people, we are the club. Glasgow is blue, no matter what them, them across the city think. Thank you.